All right. Well, I had a thought <clears throat> regarding a uh, little shooting. As you can see, we have our little makeshift range here with some log chunks and some makeshift targets right here along this southern tree line right here because over here is the compound anyway I had an idea about how to make an even better range compared to what we have right here set up in this area here hold on right here we have what remains of what I've called the fallen trees a whole bunch of trees that we had brought down from this area a few years back just never got around to finishing the cutting up of all this some of that is right there but uh I thought of an idea I thought why not take these mid-range diameter logs cut them into maybe five foot lengths maybe and stand them up and butt them together to make a wall like a, a backstop that can make up our uh, firing range and part of standing them all up and lining them side by side I'd obviously have to brace all that crap but that's okay the idea would be to create a thick enough backstop that I could be able to shoot anything up to a large caliber rifle against these things and not worry about bullets going too far down range even though there's really nothing back down range to worry about it's just an extra level of safety you know what i mean so the idea would be to again five foot lengths of logs out of this pile stand them up side by side brace them up make a target range there's other things i want to add to the target range like bring out a folding table and chair in order to use a chronograph stuff like that along with that other crap that you saw over there in front of our backstop wall but the other big thing that this would accomplish is it would clean all this shit up so one of the things i want to do is go ahead and cut some five foot logs so i'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the way real quick and transport that garbage over to the site there to stage it because the next thing i'll have to do is some serious landscaping because there's a lot of trash there i want to be able to set up my log wall against the tree line even using the trees partly as our bracing for our little backstop wall so again let me cut some of this garbage up and move it and i will get back to you in a little bit stand by all right this is what we're working with right here a row of logs different diameters different conditions but all in all they're about the same length five feet whole plan is obviously going to be to stand these logs up just like they are on the ground they're just going to be vertical but anyway what i plan on doing is right here after i cut all this trash from out of here put a couple of uh well put a two by eight board you know what i could probably get away with putting both of the two by eight by eight foot boards across these trees right here hopefully it'll cover that span we'll see but the main thing is i gotta clear all this trash from out of here to open this area up to the tree line in order to do that the main plan would be hang the boards horizontally then go ahead and stand our logs up against those boards and attach them with deck screws and for good measure i have a piece of heavy rebar that's still on our scrap well in the back area we just cleared that i could use i'll hammer it into the ground behind the two by eight board to add extra reinforcement to the overall structure with that we'll have our backstop more or less done there might be a few little odds and ends if i could think about them on the fly but that's just the whole setup but first this has got to go so stand by
a decent area cleared up right here probably more than enough to cover these uh logs here but more than likely i'm going to continue on down there and get all that trash out of there just because well it's ugly but anyway the area we need is opened up so with that next move is going to be to bring our two by eight boards in here and see if uh our gapping is proper we'll figure something out we always do so let me get the boards and move on to the next phase stand by we have our eight foot boards which as you could see are shy of the number of logs we have laid out that's fine though because these narrow logs here i'll just weed those out and stick with the bigger logs but the plan is to tack up our two boards between these two trees right here and then secure the logs with four inch wood screws hopefully all this stuff is long enough to reach through but be able to secure the logs through the boards with the wood screws and then i'll figure out something for these sections that are blocked off by the trees but i'll go ahead and get this crap hung up so we can more or less try to conclude this brief project also move our other shooting range apparatus in front of that once done but yeah, main thing, let's get this crap hung. pretty much done with our makeshift bootleg shooting range as you see i've set up all these logs save three a small one there two small ones there so it actually worked out perfectly but uh our end logs i had to do some really bootleggy creative stuff in this case using angle braces to hold this log in place and on this log here i was able to get in at an angle to get that screw in then i used a rusty hinge down there to hold that end in so it's very professional anyway i also took a moment to put some large nails into the logs to use for holding targets in our case old cds so yep more targets to shoot at along with our two log chunks right here for standing up stuff like cans or whatever and then a couple of little flip targets iron targets for when you just want to really shoot at something we'll probably be doing a lot more air gun shooting than we would actual firearm shooting but for all intents and purposes this little range will suffice for either or so yeah we're pretty much all done with the actual shooting range as far as any other amenities i might end up bringing a little fold-up table and a chair out here for being able to use the chronograph and a shooting stand and stuff like that for whenever we do any testing on new guns like i said mainly air guns and all <clears throat> but there will be some future plans in the world of projectile throwing apparatus so that's what this range is going to be mainly for testing out new stuff so stay tuned for all that but uh yeah 
for all intents, we're done with this thing. See how long this garbage lasts with the weather and all. Maybe at some point in the future, I'll find some other means to further reinforce this garbage so it'll stay viable. So if I figure out something, I'll let you know. But until then, I might go ahead and grab an air gun or something and shoot at this stuff for a second just to blow off some steam, whatever. But I'll finish cleaning up and move on to some other stuff around here. So till the next time, as usual, like, subscribe, notifications, all that good stuff, positive comments. Uh, what else? Yeah, stay tuned for more crap. So till the next time, I'm out of here. See you later.